Hello, welcome to another devlog. Um, I've had a bit of a frustrating week uh, in terms of productivity and haven't made quite as much progress as I would have liked. But in order to keep these devlogs lo rolling, I'll I'll show you what I have done. Um, so I've been working on the garden for my project and. At the moment, what you can see is nothing like the what the final layout will be. It's just the things that I've been modelling for the garden. Um, although the 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 back of the house isn't done, but the the space the garden will occupy is is I think uh, what it will be in the end. Um, so I've been working a bunch on on making different plants and things to let's say varying degrees of success um, I've never really modeled this kind of stuff before foliage and um, uh, plants flowers that kind of thing so it's it's all a bit new for me and uh, mostly I'm pretty happy with what we've got they range from the very simple this these are onions and leeks. Uh, oh, I shouldn't do that. Uh, onions and leeks. Um, they're just three models like any other, really. And then carrots, where I'm starting to, to use textures and things. Textures for the, for the leaves. Um, and that kind of gets much more sophisticated when we come to my runner beans. Uh, I'm, I think I'm happy with how the runner beans have turned out. They were hard to make and um, I really wanted to be able to make something which um, wasn't exactly procedurally generated but wasn't hand modeled so my idea was that I would model a no, I wouldn't even model the stem the idea was that the the stem would be a, a spline a, a curve um, going up and then I'd extrude a circle along it to make the um, to make the stem and then I could using particles or something populate the the stem with uh, with leaves and with beans and with flowers and in the end I couldn't get that to work in a way that looked nice at all so these are in the end hand modeled I mean the, the leaves are textures on planes bent bent planes um, but they are made by hand so they took kind of a long time and yeah like I say I'm happy with how they turned out I wonder if they need more leaves but I don't want to go in and spend the time to put more leaves on them so we'll see I'm, I'm hoping that, that they're good enough um, and then here's a rosemary bush shrub plant what's a rosemary thing called I don't know a rosemary plant and this was possible to do, um, not exactly with particles, but in the way I described for the for the runner bean. So it's a uh, every uh, stem, every branch is a, a single curve, which uh, I then convert into a, a one-dimensional uh, mesh with vertices along it. And then I use that to populate each vertex with the leaves and the um, and the final sort of cylinder that makes up the stem. Uh, so again, the leaves are all planes, sort of uh, inverted pyramid planes with with textures on, and I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. Like I think it looks fairly realistic, and um, it's good if it's with what I had had imagined. Um, 
so yeah I'm I'm getting there I guess we could say um, but the combination of the the runner beans and the the rosemary has taken really much longer than I had hoped and then um, this is a kind of an early test for a, just a generic shrub I guess I'm not 100% happy with how it looks but I think I can use the, the technique to make some better shaped better shaped uh, shrubs with just these ov overlapping triangles I think they're triangles um, so yeah that's that's what I've spent most of my time on then the trees at the back are very simple and very easy and I've made this kind of thing before it's just like a sort of a misshapen cone. Uh, I'm working on a pumpkin patch. Uh, the leaves are done in the same way as the as the other things, um, the runner beans. Um, and then the, the pumpkins themselves on the stem is modeled, are modeled by hand and here's, here's what the stem kind of looks like without anything attached to it. And uh, yeah, that's that's been working kind of well. Obviously I haven't I haven't connected it to the ground, haven't laid it out properly yet, and uh, I need to cover this whole space in pumpkin, so there's there's more to do there. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been working on. And then a bunch of other, in between those, I'll, I'm modelling the easier stuff. Uh, pots of different styles, uh, gardening implements. I've got some nice uh, little seedlings which I think look good. Some uh, seed packets. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I'll do when i am had enough of modeling because it's nice to take a little break and do a little bit of simplified design, graphic design. Um, you know, trowels and dibbers and um, this is not for the garden, but I thought I want to make some marbles and I made some marbles, they'll go up in the flat. Uh, cold frame again pretty simple. Uh, crate over here. Oh the, the fence, I'm pretty happy with how the fence turned out. I wanted this kind of style of concrete posts uh, like iframe concrete posts with, uh, with wooden fencing between them. I'm happy with how that looks. This uh, hedge over here has not been done yet. Um, and Here's a rabbit hutch. Oh, which I notice is missing. Well, I bet those there are some um, part of the mesh there has its normals inverted, so I better go in and correct that. And then I've got a little space under the house, a little uh, basementy type thing, uh, which has yet to be filled with objects. Um. So yeah, that's that's kind of it. That's what I've been working on, uh, gardeny stuff. I'm getting there. I've got um, got to finish the pumpkins. I've got some more herbs, some more aromatics to put in, and a bunch of different bushes of different shapes. And then the next sort of hard thing, I think, uh, is going to be some flowers. And hard because I've never really tried to model flowers before and I think it's going to be difficult to get um, the simple effect that I want but have them recognizable as um, different types of flowers um, but yeah that's that's it really that's uh, that's what I've been doing since the last one um, here's hoping that the next week or so will be a little bit more productive than this one's been. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'm happy with how things are coming along. Um, thanks for watching and, uh, toodaloo.